Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. I just got done watching that EG versus Mad Lion series, um, which was insane. It was only the third best of five in history, which is really, really crazy between NA and EU, at least at MSI and Worlds. Even though we have this crazy, crazy rivalry, it's usually just best of ones. We don't usually get these big hyped up matchups. And uh, when we have gotten them previously, the series have been very one-sided, and it's been for one side in particular. The the two best of fives that we had previously were G2 against Team Liquid uh, in the MSI Finals, where G2 took them down 3-0 in, I still believe, the fastest best of five in League of Legends esports history, um, at least at the time it was. I don't know if it still is. And then we also had the 2018 World Semifinals, Fnatic against Cloud9, where Fnatic 3-0'd Cloud9 to then advance onto the World Finals, where, yes, they would get 3-0'd, but... Not only is EU 2-0 uh, in these international best of fives against NA, they are also 6-0 in the game score. But now today, after this EG and Mad Lion series, there is but one thing to say. So I'm going to let Tyler1 take this one away. Uh, we have this at C9LOL tweeted out. <laughs> EU, why are you so quiet? I can't, I can't hear you, EU. <laughs> So yes, obviously, spoiler alerts, EG was able to take down Mad Lions, and they did not just take them down, they smashed the Mad Lions. They smashed Mad Lions, who had four out of five players in the LEC First Team All-Pro. JoJo Pune in the mid lane, a rookie North American mid laner, smashed, absolutely Astro gapped, Chovy gapped, mid gapped, whatever you want to say. The LEC MVP in Niski. This was so crazy in so many ways. I mean, it was really dominant all over the map. This is EG, uh, again, with a, a rookie North American mid laner. This is EG with a sub 80 carry. Cowery ha has played like, I think they said 12 professional games, like at the highest level, um, coming into this series. I mean, this was just absolutely crazy. Obviously, Mad Lions has not been great in best of fives this year, uh, and they have not been as great as of late, but again, still at times, this team was uh, good during the season. And still, they were the fourth seed coming out of Europe. This is the three seed from the LCS, and everyone wants to act like the LEC is so much better because uh, G2 was good like three years ago or two years ago or whatever, and Fnatic was good four years ago. In the last two years, and this is something I've been tweeting out. Uh, you know, I, I tweeted after the series was over. I pretty much just said, hey, guys, it's time for EU to shut up. Uh, they haven't had a better inter international performance than NA in two years. The ego was wild. That's an NA rookie mid and a sub-80 carry. And what I'm talking about is this past MSI, uh, EG and G2 both had the same Rumble stage record and both got 3-0'd uh, in the semifinals. Uh, last year at Worlds, I believe that... Uh, last year at Worlds, I believe NA had a better record overall and then they each had one team get out and both of them got 3-0'd in the quarterfinals. And then at MSI the year before, um, at the LEC might have had a better record in the Rumble stage. I honestly don't remember, but um, I believe uh, both the teams ended up getting out of the, the groups and uh, both got 3-0'd again in the semifinals. I want to say, or maybe NA didn't get out and, and Mad Lions did. Um, so maybe it was uh, the, that past MSI. I don't remember for sure, but it, pretty much the teams have been very, very interchangeable. Maybe NA has been a little bit better at one event. EU has been a little bit better, but like the way that EU fans were acting, it was getting really, really crazy. So I'm glad we got to see these teams match up. I'm glad we got to see a best of five. And again, this was not even the best version of Evil Geniuses. And a way that Evil Geniuses could have gotten better was by bringing another North American player in Danny onto the team. Uh, and again, this series was just not close at all. It was absolutely hilarious in the post-game interview. Uh, Inspired said he didn't think they were going to smash him this hard, but he said it was like El Yoya and four bots playing. And I think that that is a very, very accurate uh, representation of what went on in this series. I, I mean... The, the solo lanes of Mad Lions were absolutely abysmal, and that was a really, really big red flag for me coming into just worlds in general, uh, because Arma... I think has been very, very suspect throughout the whole season. You know, the memes of him being a NAR one trick or whatever. Uh, I know Kaiser was like, oh no, he doesn't just play NAR. He plays, uh, you know, Aatrox too. Okay, well, you're playing the most heavy, heavily contested pick at this tournament. Um, so it's going to get banned a lot. It's going to get picked away a lot. Nar, uh, not Nar, but Arma absolutely got exposed in the series. Niski, uh, again, my, my whole thing about Niski has always been he's a guy who's good enough to get you to the big games, but he never plays well enough to win you the big games. And that was true once again. Again, he played well enough to get his team to world. He played well enough to beat Saigon Buffalo in the best of five. But as soon as they got to a big 
pressure filled situation you know Nisky's coming in talking all the trash which is fine that's cool i'm all for the trash talk but you gotta at least show up somewhat you can't show up like this um as a uh, against a rookie north american mid laner if you want to be like one of the best uh mid laners around again Nisky's a veteran at this point he's he should be looking to take that next big step up in his career not getting chovy gapped by a guy like jojo pune at this point in his career it was just really really bad um but man there are so many memes and so many things coming out of this whole thing um we had this from inspired when his team was uh waving right. his team's waving uh to the camera or, or to the fans uh and inspired is waving away mad lines as they go home um just really really crazy you can see armlet looks over and he's like oh man um but all the memes coming out of this jojo pune he tweeted out na oh greater than eu this has 10.2k likes in like 20 minutes or something. It's insane. We got this, uh, you know, USA flag picture coming back out. Um, I also said this. Hey, Mad Lions, they hadn't even necessarily looked bad at World so far. Mad Lions should have beat DRX. They were on the verge of beating DRX. Um, so it's not even like Mad Lions is a terrible, terrible team. Um, but man, also, uh, Unforgiven getting the, the Draven twice and, and EG just stomping over them both games when Mad Lions has been very, very successful with that Draven pick throughout this whole year uh, and Kauri showing up in a big way I think it's really going to give him a ton of confidence momentum and stuff um, but yeah EG beating Mad worse than DRX did hopefully that's a good sign for EG going forward um, you know I said this too has been a bit weird how much shit Niski has been talking since leaving NA uh, people liked you here he didn't dominate NA he missed Worlds his last season so it's just been a little bit weird Jojo Pune outplaying the EU MVP Niski shrinking in big moments once again EG proving that they don't need to ban Draven was huge we had Inspire tweeting out this. I think Vitality would have been harder. Uh, and this is absolutely hilarious. Perks, you know, tweeting out C9 Perks has slain uh, Rogue Inspired, which is just funny. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, people had high hopes for, for Mad Lions. People had high hopes for just EU in general being able to stomp out NA. Um, but it was really funny coming into the series. It was like people were saying the two... Uh, totally stoppable or totally movable objects um like mad lions who can't win a best of five and eg who can't be eu team so who was gonna win something was gonna have to give there uh and obviously it was mad lions giving in a big 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 way um but now uh we also had this from from impact he said top gap but again it was top gap it was mid gap it was bot gap it was everything gap um just absolute domination by eg there was a like game one was kind of close, I guess, but, but even then not totally. Um, but this is what we're looking ahead now towards groups. As long as, uh, RNG takes down dead FM, uh, in this thing, this should be EG's group for worlds. It's going to be EG, uh, JDG, DK, Damon Kia and G2. So it's not looking like things are going to be great for evil geniuses. Not looking like things are going to get much easier but uh, we'll have to see. This will definitely be a fun group. I'm glad that JoJo and Inspired and all these guys, Vulcan, could could back up the trash talk. Um, I know, I think Vulcan tweeted out, like, suck my dick or something. You know, there's there just all this weird craziness coming out. NA has finally done it. They've snapped the losing streak against... Uh, EG has snapped their losing streak against EU. Uh, NA has snapped a losing streak uh, against EU and, and just international best of fives. Finally, we got this, and again, it was not only a North American victory, it was a North American 3-0. I think this is really, really, really bad for Mad Lions, an absolute disaster, and I kind of expect them to make some roster changes going into next season. We'll talk about Mad Lions. I'll probably have a Mad Lions just finished video out tomorrow where we can talk about them more. Um, today, I'm more one to celebrate EG and North American, what they were able to do in this series, and just get all the memes and reactions out, because this was awesome. EG is moving on. Mad Lions is going home. Still the only of the power four regions to have a team not get out of plans. And it has been Mad Lions twice. Again, just a couple of months ago, they were like probably the best team in the LEC and it's just been a slow downward descent since then. But EG, despite all the craziness they've been through through the past couple of weeks, they are headed to the group stage at Worlds. They're headed to New York. And at the end of the day, I think it's really cool because now we have three NA teams, three EU teams. That's way better than there being four EU and two NA. So, hey, I think everyone in the West should be happy at the end of the day. And now the NA versus EU memes can chill a little bit because now it's going to be the West against the East in the group stage. We got to focus. We got to stay strong. We got to stay together. But that's pretty much it for this video today, guys. Definitely drop a like if you did enjoy it. I'd appreciate this so, so much. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about anything we talked about in this video today. Subscribe to today and all my latest content. Hopefully, catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.